Hey, happy Monday, everyone. Um, we're having a little technical difficulties here. I'm gonna ask Brooklyn if she can sit back there and see if she can still get that to cast on the TV. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, we're ready to have a snowstorm here. And I get comments all the time from people who say thank you <clears throat> because they're able to continue to get all the exercise they need inside the home irres irrespective of the weather outside. So I want to thank you for sharing some of those stories with us. Tonight, get your cellar sizers. We are going to do a program specifically for building the knees up. So these are going to be supporting the, the ligaments and the tendons on the lateral knee, both sides of the knee, which very few exercises do. We're also going to work on the whole front part of the knee. The objective is as we build up the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee, we take pressure off the joint and we're able to retain more fluid. It can take some time. For those who have bad knees now, you'll, you'll probably feel it, but the good thing about cellar size is that it isn't a jarring impact compared to other typical aerobic activities. And as the bones rub, and you can check with your doctor on this, there are many that believe that that activity can actually start to grow more cartilage. So I've talked to a great many people who have had sports injuries who were not able to participate in normal activities, and now they are. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. When I tore up my knee, I was goofing around with my daughter here, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. We were doing some, we thought they were aerobic type activities, but um, when she was on top and I was laying down on the ground with my feet behind me, I tried to lift her up and the leverage was so incredible that it popped both my knees. We could hear it and that hurt. Well, for months afterwards, every time I bent my right knee, it started to get better. But my left knee, when I would bend this one, you could actually see it pop out of the socket. So I finally said, okay, I've got to go talk to a doctor who's also one of my customers. And Dr. Chapman said, don't do that. She saw me bending my knee, said, don't do that. <laughs> And it kept uh, popping out, and I said, well, what's wrong? And he said, well, we're going to have to get an MRI. So we went, and that day we got the MRI, came back. Oh, they read that MRI, and the doctor said, you're going to need surgery. Um, that I torn my meniscus horizontally and vertically in more than one area. But in the course of looking over the x-rays, he also saw lesions. I said, what do you mean lesions? Well, you got lesions here, here. Um, it's just where you've torn it in the past. I said, but it healed? He said, yeah, yeah, that's healed. Why wouldn't this heal? And he said, at your age, and as bad as this is, well, you're going to need the surgery. Well, what I ended up doing is I got one of those knee sock braces. I put that on, and I began doing many of the same exercises I'm going to show you tonight. And in the process, it took about a year. Ligaments tend to take a long time to, uh, to catch up, but it took about a year. And after that year, uh, I was on Fox News, and I haven't done this in months. I was on Fox News, and I, I stuck my leg out in front of me, sat all the way down to the ground, and then stood all the way up again, and the knee was fine. <laughs> um, so those muscles and ligaments healed. I've since had an opportunity to work with other doctors and health practitioners, and it's interesting because many of them are open to looking into it. Physical therapists are often open into looking into it, but there's other times where they're not. They're not willing to look into that, and so it's important for all of us who have experienced cellular size to help share it with our doctors and health practitioners. I'm always happy to talk to a doctor. The doctors have taught me why the cellar sizer is so effective and what it does. And so all I'm basically doing is sharing our experiences that I've learned a great deal from them to the rest of the public. So, 
Colin writes, hello Dave. As I had earlier expressed, I absolutely know the difficulty of achieving optimal health without your incredible solar sizer. My wife uses it regularly since we received it and she uses it twice daily. It's actually quite amusing. In fact, I had to reset my own schedule. She goes on, gets on it before I even have a chance in the morning. Too funny, Dave. <clears throat> Cellar Sizer is an incredibly important solution for northern countries. Just jump on and let it snow. Who doesn't have three feet of space? In my upcoming book, Optimal, Cellar Sizer is key both structurally and internally. The quality of the cellar sizer further gives me peace of mind. It is brilliantly designed. Thank you. So easy to recommend your equipment. It really is critically important. I absolutely pray that you continue for a long, long time, Dave. Quality is unparalleled. Health and fitness requires it for everyone. I've noticed due to the entire scamdemic that there is now a tidal wave of interest in personal health care. A real paradigm shift. By the way, I first learned about your equipment quite some time ago in someone's newspaper letter. My prayers were answered. You're still there. Thank, thank God. By the way, your kids are totally charming in the how-tos. Too funny, Dave. Thank you, Colin. Really appreciate that. And yes, there is awakening. See, one of the things I've shared, and you've heard me share it in the past, if you were to draw a line down the middle of a whiteboard and on the right side of the line you have health and on the left side of the line you have illness. I suggest that in our culture today most people have bought into the idea that health is simply an absence of illness and as a result of that thinking they live on the line. If they get sick, they'll often take a shot or pill or some kind of treatment to get back to the line. And that's where most people that I know live. There's a few that are just to the right of the line, and they'll get sick, but they never really get seriously sick. And there's a few others who are way to the right of the line. They rarely get sick, and if they do, they bounce back very quickly, generally. And those people enjoy a quality of life, of energy, of performance, it just that the average person who lives on the line never really experiences. And so one of the efforts that I've been involved in is helping people recognize we have a greater health potential. And my job is to help you reach it. Cellar Sizer is a part of that because of all of its benefits. It's all weight bearing, not weight lifting, so we don't limit the effect. It's on the entire skeletal and muscular system. It's a gentle pumping up and down, which makes it easier on the heart. It back flushes valves, opens up capillaries, increases oxygen blood for the brain, and it stimulates and activates the lymphatic system, which is a big part of our immune system. So it breaks up sticky blood cells. We've seen blood cells change through the movement up and down on a cellar sizer. I don't know anything. I'm so grateful for being led to develop the cellar sizer what it's done in my life, and what it's done for my children and kids. Okay, Colin, oh, can you ship anywhere? And the question is, yes, we ship all over the country, or all over the world. Okay. I was busy recommending the cellar sizer to my sister, who just got diagnosed with osteoporosis. The cellar sizer is not on the, min on the many lists of weight-bearing exercises, and it should be a reminder about what Dave says on his website about osteoporosis. And he quoted me, Cellar sizing creates a weight-bearing activity without the jar of typical exercise. So the bones are stimulated in their osteoblastic activity to utilize minerals to remodel as well as build bone density. We have many wonderful written testimonials from our customers who have had severe degenerative bone problems and have been able to report remarkable benefits while using the solar sizer. And generalize. I have now resumed jumping on my solar sizer since my accident that caused extreme pain in my left knee. I use a product called Diclogenic Sodium Topical Gel. 
that Dr. Ardens, or that deadens the nerves. I wait 15 minutes, then climb back on my cellar and begin a short session of 200 jumps. The old feeling of joyful goosebumps returns. I am back. William. <laughs> Thank you, William. All right, so you know the quality of the solarizer. I have people ask me all the time, and again, I need to share it, why this is different. And again, and you've heard me say it, I want to share it. I want to please share this video with other people that might benefit from it. But that matte material, it's a space age material, a polypropylene where every fiber is put under nearly 200 tons of pressure. Leave it out in the sun, the rain, the snow, doesn't matter. It's weather resistant. I mean, swimming pool covers out of it. I use it. So as you get on the solar size and you bounce up and down, you do different movements, your feet are supported. When you get typical rebounders that use a canvas non or plastic mat, and it looks the same, but the mat starts to stretch with the springs, then it may start off first month, right? Second month, your feet are doing this. They're pronating because the mat has lost the resistance. Very important. So we use a very special mat material. It costs more, but it creates a quality unit. That's what we want. And of course, you know about the patented tridactable springs. They're self-adjusting springs. It doesn't matter whether you're 30 pounds or over 300 pounds, you're gonna have both the resistance and the weight necessary to get the benefit. Okay, let's answer some questions. And that's just, that's just part of it. I will not, for as long as I stay in this business, I'm not going to compromise the quality of the unit. So if you ever get a solar size, you know you're getting a unit that's designed to last. <clears throat> All right, what exercises can be done to speed the recovery of tennis elbow? Hold on. Hold that thought. All right. You've all, many of you have seen me with a little Dynaflex. That Dynaflex is a gyro. When you get it going real fast, and I'll show that to you. All right. No, I didn't do it fast enough. Okay. No, that didn't work. All right. Okay, there we go. You'll see, you'll feel the resistance as the gyro speeds up. And what I've done when I've injured my elbows is I'll stand on the cellar and just do curls up and down. Doing the curls up and down helps to work on those tendons and muscles and the pumping up and down helps increase circulation. So as we're strengthening, increasing the flexibility, reducing inflammation, when you're tired, you can do it in the other hand, or some people get two of them and they do it in both hands. But that has been known to be very helpful. When I first heard about that and I started to use it, it was the thing that helped me with my, with my elbow. So. Can you get a hernia from jumping up too much on a trampoline? I hope not. <laughs> I've been doing it for over 30 years. You're not putting a lot of weight. There's not a jarring effect. Solar size is very gentle. If you're ju jumping on a big trampoline, that's a little different. But the solar sizer, you still have G-forces, but it's within a, a relatively short space or movement. So it is weight-bearing to help strengthen all the supporting muscles and ligaments and fascia around the internal organs. So it is weight-bearing from the inside out. Everything starts to tighten and tone as we start to and continue to solar size. Cells don't care where the increase of weight comes from. It's just the increase of weight on the cell membrane over and over that causes the cell to fortify its membrane with more protein. It simply doesn't want to rupture. So that's why cellular size is so efficient. You've got over 75 trillion cells, depending on who you read, um, flexing and, and working. And those benefits are also helping I mean, those cells to absorb oxygen, nutrients, and improve their ability to circulate through the body. Okay. 
I've been doing trampoline flips pretty much all my life, and I'm curious if you ever <laughs> done any flips on a big trampoline, and if yes, which ones did you do, and which one is your favorite? Really curious to hear your answer. Well, Brickland, when we moved here a, a year ago, so we have our place still down south, but they have a big trampoline in the backyard, and so we, we did. We got on it and just played around on it a little bit, and... I did a front flip, and I did a back flip, or a number of times. And that's about the extent, but it was fun. So. Catherine, once someone mentioned putting the cellar within their weightlifting routine, it stimulates faster muscle growth. Is this accurate? Please comment on how to do this. They did a study, Dr. Larry Getman, years ago, in a, called the National Aerobics Institute in Seattle, Washington, where they incorporated 30 seconds of the mini trampoline between weight stations. And they grew in their overall results up to 26 or 28% faster. The movement up and down helps get rid of the lactic acid, helps reduce the swelling, increases oxygen and nutrients to the muscle. You're stronger anyway after you get off on a cellar So the ability to grow that much faster was, was significant. And of course, we've got Wade. Wade is... Um, on our, our DVD, and he's won three championships in bodybuilding, incorporating the cellar sizer within his program without the downtime, without the soreness, and he actually has been one of our big proponents of it. Rebecca, I've torn meniscus. I want to avoid surgery, so will it help? Can it heal? Yeah. Yeah, what I did and is I got a, a knee sock and I put it on this knee and I started doing the gentle movements up and down. I bent at the knee, walked in place. I did the rocking side to side until I could um, do a little more aggressive movements. It took time, but it healed and I'm really grateful I didn't have to have surgery. Can you recommend a video for absolute beginner after an injury and sickness? Well, the, were you able to get that up, Brooke? The Mr. Rebounder app actually has a routine that, uh, in the beginning section, that's very gentle to work up toward. And that was, that's something that I would suggest you look into or have your doctor link into if you're, you're recovering or doing any physical therapy because we address all kinds of different areas of the body, whether it's the knees or the hips or the back or the shoulders or the neck. There's specific movements you can do that have shown to be very, very healthful and helpful. So Lisa, been doing your jamba run or something like that for cellulite. What else do you do with cellular sizer for toning legs? Well, we're going to be focusing on the knees today, but in doing that, we're also going to be working on the legs because these are the biggest muscles of the body. We're going to harness those so we can get some of the fastest results by using some of the bigger muscles. But we'll work on some different movements that work the lateral knees, which is also working the thighs and the buttocks. I have knee pain and it grinds when going up and down stairs. Can the trampoline help with that? Or would jumping on a trampoline hurt my knee more? Again, it's how you approach it. There are specific movements that you can do designed to help build up and strengthen the knee. And, and that's, uh, that's what we're gonna be talking about in just a moment. Okay. says, I have for, for you is, do you have any recommended exercises for the lower abs? My top four are tight, but I would like to strengthen the lower two or at least lose some of the weight in that area. I do jamba and the kickouts consistently. Just want to know if there's another exercise that specializes in the area that you could recommend. And yes, the kickouts are good because the moment 
or jogging, the moment you tilt, you leverage your body weight. So every time you come down at an angle, these muscles are really working. So jogging in place, tilting backwards slightly, that's working the lower abdominals as well as all the way up and down the body. But if you want to focus even more, Brooklyn, can you follow me on this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sitting down. All right. Um, you can actually sit on this subtle sizer. And these movements are going to target the lower abdominals. So we start off, we support our back with our hands on the mat. As we get stronger, we can take away our hands. As we continue to get stronger, then we lift up one leg. I just leverage that body weight right there in the lower abdominals where you want to work. Then you can lift up the other leg. Now this is more for longer muscles. They're uh, not the, the tighter muscles, but you can do the tighter muscles also and get to the point where you lift both legs up or you're doing the cheek, cheek or in and out. Now these movements right here, those are going to work the lower abdominals. So they're going to be a little more rounded. They're going to show up a little bit more that way. Oh, what type of services do you provide? <laughs> well, we're here Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, Mountain Standard Time, and we end up doing quite a bit. If somebody calls and I can help them understand the difference between fighting against that which is wrong, if they have a health condition, versus promoting that which is right, I teach them the difference on how to approach various different issues so they can reach a greater health potential. And that's a philosophy that I really believe. I do not believe, and many of you heard me say it, that if you fight against that which is wrong, you're going to be able to reach a greater potential. I don't believe that. And you've heard me say it before. You walk into a dark room and it's dark, and you don't like the darkness, so you're fighting the darkness. And when you're done fighting, the darkness doesn't care, it's still dark. But the character of the person we become in the process of fighting against that which is wrong, we get frustrated and anxious and angry and, and depressed and all these negative energies. But when we walk into that dark room, and that could represent a health condition or issue or, or a, um, it could be cancer, it could be... Um, uh, weight loss, it can be an addiction, whatever it is, or walking in that dark room, rather than fight against the darkness, I suggest you, we all can do this. You recognize that over on the wall there's a light switch. For most of us it's a dimmer switch. And so you hit on the light switch, you begin to turn up the light. What happens to the darkness automatically? See, you can't abide the light. So when you walk in and you're turning up that light, to me that's you're improving your immune system. You're communicating with your cells. They understand English, our feelings, our emotions. They're constantly reacting and being reacted upon by what we say, what we think, what we do, um, how we feel. And so we have an ability to take charge more effectively of the internal conditions within us. We may not be able to control that which is around us, but how we respond to that well, that we have within us. And it, so I, I, I teach some of the principles that have served me well and, and that has helped a great many other people. And sometimes it goes a little beyond. In other words, this is according to Dave Hall. You don't have to buy into this. But you look at the world today and all the division and the contention and the frustration and the anger that is being per perpetrated um, by other forces. And you realize that if you follow it through, let's say there's one group fighting against another group. I believe in an adversary. And I don't believe that adversary really cares who wins. Just as long as they're fighting amongst themselves. We'll never truly have a healthier world in which to live for ourselves and our posterity if we're constantly fighting against what we believe is wrong. 
The only way we're going to create that is a change of heart. And that change of heart, it because you cannot force somebody to be a certain way. They're going to have to love. They're going to have to develop um, a change of heart. So if we could all do that, instead of fighting against that which is wrong, we start promoting that which is right. We start taking charge of what we feed upon, what we watch, what we listen to, what we read about, who we associate with. We, we take charge as much as we possibly can. Um, what we'll find out, find out is that we will develop a sense of peace and a sense of purpose. And we will see things from a different perspective. And it's in that process, I believe, we start to heal, both as individuals and as communities, families, or hopefully the world. So what type of services do I provide? Um, I teach people a program I call Solology, and that's the seven steps toward reaching your greater health potential and what we can do to achieve that. Um, and we'll get that in a, we're working. We've been working on a book on that. So, I own one of your half full solar sizers. A few of the legs have come off, and one is missing. Is there a way to, to uh, I think she says, reattach that and order a new leg? And yes, we have all the necessary parts that you want, but sometimes if the leg is in between the spring and the hook, and it bounces around, it can start to open, it has to have leverage, but it can actually open up that hook. And when that happens, that hook can actually slip off, off the post. Now this is under a lot of tension, I want to be real careful. But this hook right here can be closed back up, and often you want to just take it off, and then you close that hook back on, and then you've got a little pin right here, you slide the hook back through and put a string on the end of it and just pull it through and hook it back over the leg like there, and then you can just gently attach it right back and give it a little tug and you're ready to go. From what I know or am familiar with, when it comes to rebound exercises, it not only works the muscles of our bodies, but also the internal organs, cells, circulatory system, lymphatic system, etc. Correct? Yes, that is correct. A friend of ours, as we speak, has been given the boot from doctors saying there isn't anything else that they can do, so she is basically now on her own. She is a fighter and wants to try and do all that she can to survive and beat this or the very least lengthen her days. I mentioned the trampoline her brother and sister-in-law had purchased one. I said if she was too weak to jump holding on to the bar on her own, then to have her lie down on it, somebody bounce her, or sit on it, and she can bounce her, somebody else can bounce her. Um, and that's true. Is there a movement that is particularly good for the triceps and the bat wing arms? And, Again, we show those movements in the Mr. Rebounder app where we can actually hook our arm. We, we do these movements up and down while we're bouncing. Because when we're bouncing, we're actually releasing weight and then increasing weight. And so that starts to really build up the, the back of those arms too. You can also do the curls because you're pushing down and pulling up. And you're working the back and front part of the arms and then you just change. And those are... Our, also on the Mr. Rebounder app. So as you're bouncing up and down doing those movements, it can be very helpful. All right, so I wanted to get, Brooklyn, let's see if we can do this again. Um, I'd like to get the, that app up and going so we can do a routine together. Do you have the iPad? Um, yeah, I see it here. Thank you. All right, so 
it always works. And now, of course, when we have our program tonight, it's choosing not to work. Which means I can do it and you can follow along. And I'm just going to turn it so that I can see it. And let's get on our solar cycle because this program is almost, it's almost 18 minutes long. So it's not that long, but it's, it's nice, it's effective. You can turn it on and do it as much as you want, or as many times as you want. Okay. So I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. So what I did is I took one of the programs that were on the Miss Rebounder app. So you go to home. I think I picked it up under advanced. And I just picked one of the routines, like the knees. And I, I have an option over here to clone a template. So if you hit the clone, you automatically bring up all those movements and you can change them. You can add things, you can change things, you can save it, which is what I did to create targeting needs. And so, hmm, interesting. I changed the icon up there too and I don't see that. So we're going to, we're gonna have some fun. Let's have some fun. And that's what, that's what solar size is. We play on it, it works on us. So we'll start off with the health bounce, the baby bounce, warm up, hip rock, jambo walk. We're all targeting warming up and strengthening those muscles and ligaments. And so we'll do the ski patrol one, which is where we're hopping side to side. We'll do the baby health bounce, help restore that circulation. And give me one second because There it is. All right, that's the one I was looking for. And then we did the baby health bounce, jamba walk, the hip rock more intense, the moderate, sprint moderate. We'll also do power beat breathing after the, the, the second movement, just to get the oxygen moving throughout our circulatory system so our body can respond more effectively. We'll do the sprint moderate, ski patrol, whippy ski patrol, shoulder to the knee movement, if that's a little more advanced, then um, just do the hip rock if, if, you, if you'd like. Um, and then we'll do the jumbo walk, the hip rock intense, modified jumping jack. And again, if that's too intense, you can maybe do the kick outs or again, just do the hip rock because you're working a lot of the similar muscles. Um, we'll do the Ski Patrol 2, which is a little more advanced. And again, you can stay at the Ski Patrol 1 if that's a little hard. Jumbo Walk, Ski Patrol 2 again, Sprint Moderate, and then the Hip Rock Intense, and then the Baby or Health Bounce. So, let's get started. Good. I'm going to turn on some music. Okay. And what I'm going to do, if it, anybody has the wireless module, go ahead and turn on your wireless module. That's done. It attaches right to the solar sizer mat. And then when we hit start, we're going to hit this over here. Right. Go back. And if you know how to do this, go back to settings, connect Bluetooth device. It's not connected. Now we go back. And we do my workouts. There we go. We're ready to begin. Oh. 
Okay, baby bounce, help bounce. Now as we're doing this, you want to lift your toes up a little bit, or your heels up a little bit, so you pump the calf muscle. And if you really want to know about how dynamic this is, just grab these muscles up here. That's happening from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Because you don't have jarring these G-forces, that increase of weight is, on, is going on throughout the entire body from the inside out. And that's a lot of weight. That's why your body starts to lift tight and tone from the inside out. And this is a time where you can kind of play around a little bit on it and just, so just gently warming up the body. Okay, so hip rock. Now on the hip rock, I like to uh, lift the shoulders up and down so you're working the back as well. But as you're doing this, you're working the hips, both sides of the knee. Because every time you come down, you're, you're working the, the thighs and the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee, you've got your knees slightly bent as you're doing it. Okay, that's a lot of breathing. Now you hear the, the difference in the voice as well. Because that opens up the bronchial tube, the lungs, it gets more oxygen to the other one third of the lungs that most people don't get enough oxygen to. So now, by bending at the knee, we're working the whole front part of the knee. You can take your fingers and just hold those, those right around the kneecap there and you'll feel those muscles working. This is also a great way to increase metabolism so that uh, you're burning more calories. Because you're using the biggest muscles right here, they have a, a greater demand for fuel. Brooklyn, do we have any questions? Mm -hmm. I can ask them while we do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's the ski patrol. I'm going to hold the bar because it's a little quiet. 